Hey folks, here is the video for the uh, A minor second round uh, Allstate etude out of the Selected Studies. I think it's, I, I, I don't know, I forget if it's Rebecca or Foxman. I forget who the actual publisher is. I think it goes by both. Either way, page 21, A minor, Allegretto Grazioso. Um, this is a fun one. Um, you know, there's, I don't want to say there's not a ton of rhythmic challenge to this because, um, you know, it is pretty straightforward. It's basically eighth notes and 16th notes. So as long as we're A, working with the Met and B, really subdividing as we work our way through this, there shouldn't be too many rhythmic challenges. I understand getting it up to a speed may present some challenges, but it's not like we're in some compound meter with some complex rhythms that we've never seen before. Um, all pretty straightforward in the fact that uh, you all are on to the second round means you should be able to handle stuff like this. There's a there's nothing too, too crazy bonkers on this. So what I would say, I think one of the things that we need to be focused on with this is um, trying not to be too heavy. It's easy to associate speed, and especially when it does get to a, a louder dynamic, um, associate those types of things with heaviness. Uh, the lighter you can play, the better. The more dance-like you can make this, the better. Um, Clarity and crispness and consistency. So three C's. Three C's. Clarity, crispness, consistency. That's trademark. Don't even try to steal that from me. And if you do, I don't have a lot of money, so you would probably win in court. Uh, <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, that's what we're going for. Clarity, consistency, and consistency and the crispness of articulation. Obviously, there's a lot of staccato in here. And while I don't want to say don't play staccato, I think too often times when we try to play Rhythms of high velocity in short time frames, it's easy to clip them and not get the quality of sound that we want. I think as long as you think light articulation with immediate follow through to the vowel syllable, that's gonna be more than enough. Because especially if it really gets cooking is, is that staccato or is, which, which one was shorter? It's so hard to tell at those speeds. So as long as you play light, with the consistent consonant syllable going to your vowel syllable, you should be A-OK. -okay. Now, we do want to try to play all the notes on the page. That is an obvious statement, but I know unless you just are taking this crazy fast, which is would be out of style, theoretically, um, or you're able to circular breathe, which if you can do that, I don't know what you're watching this video for, what do you need me for? But um, there will be times, especially as you take things slower, where you maybe need to leave a note or two off to take a breath. Again, we don't want to sacrifice the quality of sound we're making for anything, especially on euphonium. It's such a beautiful instrument with glorious sounds, we don't want to shortchange that. If you are playing with anything less than your best sound at this audition, I don't want to say don't bother, but euphonium, obviously very competitive instrument, only a handful of spots. You need to be playing with your best sound no matter what, okay? That has to be paramount. All right, I've harped enough about that. Um, there's definitely time to do some musical shaping in here. I would say, you know, take the dynamics with a grain of salt. I don't think we need to play a true fortissimo towards the end. It definitely needs to be the biggest moment, but at the end of the day, dynamics are relative. So your fortissimo at the end, again, as long as you're playing with a great quality of sound and crisp, clear articulations, that's what we need to be striving for. Uh, let's see, from there, they'll specify at the audition if they want you to do the repeats. I would go ahead and um, leave... Uh, the repeats in, get used to doing them, but also practice them a couple times without. You don't want to be doing it only one way and then have them ask you the complete opposite way when you get to the audition. So practice it a couple different ways. I will do the repeats in the video. Um, I don't think I quite finished my point from before, uh, and I'm too lazy to go back and edit this stuff because I want to get this up for you all ASAP since I'm already a week and a half behind since I was in Kansas City uh, uh, playing with Fountain City up there. So I'm um, sorry this is coming to you late, and I'm sorry this is a little bit scatterbrained, but I wanted to make sure I got it up as soon as I could, and I was back in town with my baby. Um, but so, so the point I was going to say before, if you need to leave a note or two off to breathe, that's totally fine for now, especially at slower tempos. If you are going to leave a note off to breathe, I would still put the finger or fingers down as if you were going to play it. Part of what happens if we leave a note or two off at the slower di uh, slower tempo is we just get so used to leaving that note off, it becomes a challenge to put it back in. Not just because we're not used to playing there, but the muscle memory is all thrown off. If let's say you're leaving an A off and you don't put your middle finger down and you just have a couple Fs in a row instead of F-A-F-A-F-A-F-A-C like you have towards the end of the third line, 
that's going to mess with your head. So just get used to putting the valves down. Even if you are taking a breath, it's only going to help you as you start to put uh, all the notes back into the uh, phrases as we get the tempos up to the proper speed. Awesome. Um, you know, there's there's plenty of great recordings out there uh, that you can listen to, but you know, not, nothing crazy fast. I'd say anything 88 to 112, 116. Again, when we only have a month to prepare this stuff, only take it as fast as you can comfortably do all the things we've been talking about up to this point. Obviously, if you're only able to play it at 60, probably not ideal, but um, definitely... Only take it as fast as you can get all the notes and rhythms out sounding great. Okay. Uh, all right. Here we go. Repeats are good. One, two. Page 21, A minor, Allegretto Grazioso, from the second round uh, OKMEA OK All-State Etude. So, obviously, if you're students of mine, text me if you got any questions. If you uh, aren't a student of mine, please don't be afraid to leave a, a question in the comments section. I can't promise I'll get right back to you, but I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I'm, I'm able to. Um, you know, remember, as always, slow and steady is going to win the race. Please understand, I understand there's a time crunch you only have a month to learn these etudes, but I'm a big believer. If you take the first week or two to take everything slow, be accurate, get the muscle memory down, don't have any questions on the fingers, don't have any questions on the rhythms, you're able to do those things, it's going to be a lot easier to crank the tempo up to where we need it to be as we get closer and closer to that audition. So, as always, hope this video finds everybody well. Keep up the great work. And as always, happy practicing.